What's up, everybody? Chris Wild back with another video. Man, what a game. Monday night, overtime victory against the New York Giants. Carson Wentz's first overtime victory ever. Uh, keeps the Eagles alive in the NFC least. And look, there's a lot of argument going on right now. Local media, uh, local radio, and national media alike. People are wondering, was this Carson Wentz's best game ever? And I know, stop. You're looking at me like, are you crazy? They played the Giants. They played the 2-10, and 10, now 2-11 and 11. New York Giants. They absolutely stink, and they almost got beat. How could this be Carson Wentz's best game? Well, I'm going to say I kind of agree with the narrative that it's not his best game. But what I would say this, it was his best moment. His absolute best moment as a Philadelphia Eagle. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why some people think it was his best game. Because... The talent, are, look, first of all, let's start off with the game. They're down 17-3. to three. Defense shits the bed again. Offense, uh, coaching's piss poor. Uh, 15 scripted plays are trash as usual as they've been for, for the entire season. Um, they could have packed it away, but Carson Wentz leads a group of guys after Alshon Jeffrey injury and Elaine Johnson injury. He takes this group of practice squad players, Boston Scott, Josh Perkins, um, rookie J.J. Arcega-Whiteside, and he puts together some great drives in the end of the third, in the fourth quarter, and then just completely shoving it down the Giants' throats in overtime and gets the victory. Again, in bad weather, uh, in a game where they just could have packed it away, somehow he gets it done. A laser-like focus, awesome throws, and he really elevated these guys. And I, you haven't seen that from Carson Wentz. You just haven't. 2017, I mean, they were just killing dudes. He had a great, talented team. Um, this year, not so much. And he, what he did in a must-win game when you're down, your back's against the wall. He said, look, there's this wall here. My back's against it. I can't go back any further, so I might as well go forward. And that's exactly what he did. Um, big help from Boston Scott, Miles Sanders. Zach Ertz looked like Zach Ertz again. Um, Dallas Goddard didn't make any drops in that fourth quarter. And the offense was just humming, man. It really was. Against a sixth-ranked New York Giants run defense, uh, their passing defense is bad. I think Boston Scott might have ended Janoris Jenkins' career because he was cut for saying something stupid a couple days ago. But the last thing we'll remember is him getting his ankle broken by Boston Scott. But anyway, now the Eagles go up against the Washington Redskins. And one of the important things that they're going to have to do to win this game is something I saw at the end of the Giant game. And that's Carson Wentz was being Carson Wentz. And when I say that, if you remember 2017, there were times when he completely took over the offense. I mean, the up-tempo, the calling the plays, the killing the plays, the audibling out, um, just having a, just orchestrating the entire offense. And Doug put that in his hands at the end of the game, in the Giant game, uh, and he looked like old Carson Wentz again. you got to keep it up like that. You can't have this slow, they, they're the, they look like the slowest offense in the league when they're, they're the slow huddles, the, no, let's, let's go up tempo, let's let Carson orchestrate, and let's him do him, all right? Defense. The defense is going to have to stop Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins is struggling right now. Uh, turns the ball over a lot, and he, look, they're going to be without uh, Darius Geis, who was really starting to get this offense going. The, the uh, Redskins are 3-10, and 10, have won two of the last three. They look competitive against the Green Bay Packers in Green Bay. But they lost Darius Geis, and Dwayne Haskins is struggling. Terry McLaurin is a stud. The Eagles are going to have to stop him, unlike they've done um, Devontae Parker and uh, Slayton from last week's Giants game. They're going to have to put a lid on, on McLaurin. Um, and look, man, going back to that Giants game, the one thing that I can say about that Giants team is as horrible as they are, let's face it, man, this was like their Super Bowl. Eli Manning comes back. Their old hero comes back. I mean, the game meant a lot to him. He had his whole family. He had all 56 Mannings in that box. He had his wife in the press box. They were playing their hearts out for Eli Manning um, in that game. So, yeah, I, I'm just, the defense still was garbage for most of the game until the second half when they woke up. Um, but I will say that the Giants were a little bit extra motivated. But the Eagles are going to have to really stick it. Uh, the Eagles defense is going to have to stick it to Wayne Haskins um, to make it easier on this offense. And uh, hopefully, hopefully the Eagles can just add on to what they did last week. They definitely have something in Boston, Scott. Um, you got Robert Davis coming up. He's six foot three. Uh, ran a four four. Actually caught Dwayne Haskins' first touchdown ever in preseason. Um, he shows a lot of promise. Who knows what we get from him? I don't know because I don't know what this front office is doing with this practice squad. As we've seen guys like Greg Ward come up, um, make plays, look productive. Meanwhile, we've had Mac Collins on this team for the past year who hasn't done shit, still hasn't caught a ball in Miami. Um, I don't understand how that happens and why these guys are still in the practice squad for so long. Josh Perkins had a horrible camp, couldn't make the team. They actually had Alex Ellis from Delaware, uh, 
be a third tight end some games. Now all of a sudden Perkins is making some good plays and looking productive as well. I don't know. This week's injuries is going to be Derek Barnett. Nelson Aguilar's knee is still sore. He can't play. I don't understand it. Whatever. Um, again, it probably addition by subtract, subtraction there because he's been nothing but uh, drop a source um, since the, the season has started. Um, Lane Johnson obviously going to sit out and Alshon Jeffries put on the IR. Ron Darby's a little bit dinged up. Um, I don't think I missed anybody. Oh, yeah, Jordan Howard limited at practice, not going to play again for the fifth week. I don't expect him to play the rest of the year, to be honest with you. Um, so the Eagles are going to have to roll without him and his injury. And I could get into this. I could talk about this forever. This Eagles injury list is longer than Chris Jericho's list of holds for all my wrestling fans out there. It's pretty goddamn long. Um, but, yeah, Jordan Howard, uh, his injury is probably more significant than Deshaun injury because I really think their their offense was starting to click and starting to work, and he was going to be a, a big-time leader um, down the stretch. And now we don't have him. But what's new? So, I think I've rambled on enough. Look, I'm hyped up for this game. I just want to see what the Eagles do. Hopefully, it's not another painful and excruciating game like me and my dad had to sit and watch in the rain. Uh, the first half was miserable. It was definitely worth it at the end of the game uh, as we stayed and uh, just got absolutely soaked um, in that <laughs> what felt like uh, one of the biggest storms I've seen. I mean, it wasn't rain. It was rain, rain. Um, but that being said, got the win, overtime win, um, and all was right in the world. Let's hope that it's a little bit easier on Sunday against probably a tougher team than the Giants, but it's going to be 50 degrees and sunny. Um, so let's hope we can get this up victory and keep going. The next week's the big week, and I don't even want to talk about it yet. Just want this victory. Let's go, Birds. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Keep watching, keep sharing, keep smashing that like button and hitting that notification bell. Um, and I will be with you guys, win, lose, or draw, after that Redskins game. And let's just hope that they don't lose against Washington because, again, um, I'm losing likely to lose my mind if that happens. Uh, thanks again. Go Birds.